Ladies and gentlemen, cyberbullying is increasing in every industry in the U.S. So now they're saying they're at a critical point in every sector and they're coping with all of these different cyber attacks and they're increasing every single year. Now, one thing I did learn is healthcare. U.S. healthcare gets it the worst. The healthcare industry is dealing with so many cyber attacks and the reason why they get the brunt end of it is because they've been paying off the cyber bullies, which I had no idea they were doing until now. So the rise in cyber attacks this year has forced many companies in critical sectors to make improvements in their cyber defenses in effort to secure their networks from hacks. Such companies are increasing their investment in cybersecurity and seeking to hire more cyber professionals, a task proving to be a challenge amid a shortage of cyber workers across the industry. Yes, because the worker shortage in the U.S. is still going strong. The Hill spoke to several security experts and industry leaders in the financial, healthcare, and energy sectors to gouge out um, those critical industries are seeking to keep their network secure amid a growing number of cyber attacks in the healthcare sector, which has been a spike in ransomware this year, targeting hospitals and other healthcare facilities. Christopher Plummer, a senior cybersecurity architect, and this is what he said is happening at Dartmouth Health. And he said they're having uh, the cybersecurity program for the hospital, you know, is really crucial due to the sensitive information, including patient data. But he estimated that only about 10 to 20 percent of the nation's hospitals have a dedicated cybersecurity program. So a recent report from Kroll, an investigation and risk consulting firm, found that 90 percent it, there has been a 90% increase in the number of attacks against healthcare organizations in the second quarter of this year compared to the first quarter. With cyber attacks increasing, the sector has had to increase its resources to fund cybersecurity programs and hire cyber professionals to work on securing its networks and systems from attacks. Mm -mm -mm. So, of course, um, they're saying the pandemic also put a strain on the sector that was already in a very tough place with respect to security resources, said Plummer. The surge in attacks also led lawmakers to urge Biden's administration to strengthen the federal government's cyber defense in the sector. In a letter addressed to the Department of Health and Human Services, Senator Angus King and Rep. Mike Gallagher last month urged the agency to better protect the healthcare and public health sector from a growing number of cyber threats. Ransomware attacks on healthcare and public health sectors have skyrocketed in the past two years as the opportunic criminal recognized that the hospitals may pay quickly to resolve issues and protect patient safety. Lawmakers said in a letter, we remain concerned, however, about the lack of robust and timely sharing of actionable threat information with the industry partners and the need to dramatically scale up the department's capabilities and resources. Yeah, because with those ransomware attacks, they can literally prevent people from using their computers on the job, sometimes weeks and even months. Okay, and I've seen them hijack cities. Uh, Baltimore, in fact, I, I reported on um, a ransomware attack 
And for two weeks, they couldn't get in. They couldn't even log in to their computers because of a ransomware attack. All right. By comparison, the financial industry has traditionally been ahead of the sector when it comes down to having a robust cybersecurity system. Given that financial services rely on customer trust for its business and has been long highly regulated, the sector is more mature than many of the others in terms of cybersecurity and preparedness, said Teresa Walsh, uh, a global head of intelligence for financial services, information sharing and analysis center. So she said the industry has been recently faced with a wave of cyber attacks and a particularly um, cryptocurrency sector has been the highest interest target this year as hackers, hackers have found ways to steal millions of dollars in virtual currency. Now that I believe, that I believe, you know, wasn't it um, Safe Moon, I believe, earlier uh, they got hit with a a really bad cyber attack? I believe it was them. Oh, I guess you'll let me know if I'm wrong, right? Okay, so they said, you know, cryptocurrency has been probably the worst this year and uh, over the summer two crypto firms said hackers stole more than a hundred million dollars worth of digital currency the company said at the time that they were partnering up with law enforcement to try to track down the hackers and retrieve the stolen funds the hackers also led the Treasury Department to impose sanctions in August against cryptocurrency mixer Tornado Cash for helping hacker, hackers uh, launder more than $7 billion worth of virtual currency. Wow, $7 billion? That's a lot of money. The agency said Tornado Cash allowed cyber groups, including North Korean back hackers, to use its platform to launder the proceeds of cyber crimes. Wow. Amid such attacks, David Rogue, Senior Vice President of USI Insurance Services and Insurance Broker and Consulting Firm, said he's seen clients allocating higher funds for security. Rogue added that financial services, particularly those in the crypto sector, are also looking to purchase cyber insurance to cover costs associated with the data breaches and other types of cyber attacks. There has been a heightened amount of interest from a lot of our clients when it comes down to cyber liability, Rogue said, adding that many of his clients in the crypto sector are not covered. Mm-mm-mm. All right. According to a 2020 Deloitte study, financial services spent about 10% of their annual IT budget on cybersecurity, with such spending amounting to uh, $2,700 per full time employee. And y'all remember last year, y'all remember Colonial Pipeline being hit by a ransomware attack, forcing operations to shut down in America at the gas stations for nearly a week. Y'all remember that. The incident, uh, that incident caused gas shortages in several states as fuel prices spiked. Yep, I will never forget that. I will never forget that. That was huge news back when it happened. So, ladies and gentlemen, I know this doesn't make anybody feel better. You know, you would think, um, you know, after all these years of having technology, businesses would be better at securing their, um, you know, their 
systems and especially their finances and everything. But apparently they still got more work to do before they get rid of all of these cyber attacks that are going on. And I don't really truly believe they'll ever be able to get rid of all of these attacks because in many cases, the cyber bullies know how to stay steps ahead in the game. And I think we all know that. But please tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.